Hey, it's Ronan Segal, your accordion teacher, and I bought a $75 accordion off of Facebook Marketplace. In this video, I'm gonna show you the steps that I took to purchase this accordion, how you can find one yourself as well, and then I'll actually try this accordion. I picked it up three days ago and I haven't tried playing it yet. Um, and I'll give you then my thoughts and impressions. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Ronan. I teach accordion over on accordionlove.com. Uh, if you're looking to play, it's a wonderful resource and I've owned lots of these types of accordions used. I've bought new accordions and I've borrowed and tested lots of other accordions uh, by myself with a band and on stage. So let's get started. So this is a $75 accordion that was listed on Facebook Marketplace. I wanted to see what kind of accordion we could get for less than 200 Canadian dollars. And I looked at my Facebook Marketplace listings and I found a few, and this is the first person that replied to me. And so we went to check it out, and these are the things that I looked at when I checked out this accordion. I made another video a few years ago about the steps to go through, and not much has changed. So the accordion came in a case, as you saw. I opened the case, and I took a big, a big whiff, a big smell. I got my nose in there, and it smelled okay. It smells like an old accordion, and that's okay. I also took a look at these little um, metal little staples, little brackets that are keeping the bellows together, and they seemed okay. They didn't seem to be falling off. Also, these bellows are holding air really, really well. They're holding air better than my Camillo accordion, right? If it was leaking, it would mean that there was a leak somewhere, but these are really tight, great. The next thing I did was I tried every single one of these keys going up and going down. And just as I was speaking to the seller, I'm looking for keys that are sticking, for notes that sound out of tune, and for notes that maybe don't make a sound at all. And then going back down. So that was going out, and now I'll push it going in. Nice. There's a bit of a rattle, but for $75, I wasn't expecting too much. And then I'm doing the same thing on the left hand. Are all the buttons there? Is anything shaky or wobbly? No, this has been in the seller's family for, I forget how many years, but it's an old accordion and I'm starting to play the bass. I'm still not playing songs. I'm just looking to see, are any of the bass keys sticking down and not coming up? That's what happened with my Camillo. Essentially diagnosing. So again, we went through the right hand, fine. If there were registers, I would click each register and see if there are any keys sticking or anything not sounding right. right. That's sounding nice. There's a bit of a rattle. You could hear it vibrating a little bit after the fact. I don't mind that for this price. Great, and then I'm now I'm getting to the point of the condition of the straps. Fine, they're old straps. They might be original straps, so I might replace these, but again, for the list price, I wasn't worried. This hand strap, this wrist strap is not adjustable. If you look at the top, it's just screwed in. New straps have a little uh, screw that you can adjust, but again, it's fine for my wrist. Now I'm going to try and play together, um, but those are the things that I went through and I started to play uh, at the actual meeting. So these are the things that I recommend that you do, especially if you're able to play the instrument and smell it and meet the seller. Even if you're buying from a store, this is what I would do each and every time that I'm playing an accordion. If you're purchasing online, which we do a lot of these days, I would ask the seller for those things. Hey, can you show me the bellows without touching them? See, it's okay for them to open a little bit. You don't want them falling open. Can you press every key going up and down with each of the registers, each of the sounds? And then can you just send a video of doing this and making sure that none of the buttons stick? Good. I've discussed this in other videos. Now, let me try and play this. Again, I did a quick test 
when I met the seller, but let's, I'll play a few songs, I'll play for about a minute and a half, and then I'll give you my impressions. Just going up and down, I realized that the action on the keys, some of the keys were half depressed, some of the keys were at normal height. Um, yeah, this E flat requires very little pressure to push down versus versus this G flat. I'm not sure why, but let, let's play. Um, I'll play and, and, and be quiet and we can listen to the accordion. It's a really good purchase for $75. So who is this accordion for? Um, if you're looking to play accordion, but you're not sure whether you want to play accordion and invest hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars in, its, in an instrument, an instrument like this is a fantastic um, first step into the accordion. You could play every song. The action is a little bit off, but again, learning to coordinate your hands, learning to look down at the keyboard, learning to play the Stradella bass system, all those things you can achieve with a simple accordion like this. Some of the things that I'm noticing are, again, the action, the amount of pressure required to push a key down is different. So down here, it's quite easy and consistent. Up here, a little bit different. It doesn't bother me too much, but the more money you spend, the more consistent the pressure will be. And again, some of these keys are raised. I don't know if it shows up on camera well. I have another video about how to adjust the height of keys, especially keys that are really raised. So I could fix this. It doesn't bother me too much. Uh, the sound, the quality of the sound, this has a two reed this is a two reed instrument it has two middle reeds that that vibrate slightly differently that's that wet musette sound that's built in it's meant to sound like that it's not a dry organ sound it's a it's a wet french sound fine i like that but the sound is slightly inconsistent so playing up here versus full musette, pulling out, both reeds vibrate, pulling in, pushing in, only one reed. I don't mind that. I'm not performing with this instrument. So again, who this instrument is for, if you're looking to get into accordion, you can get away with an instrument like this very, very easily. 
If you're like me and you have an accordion, but you want a second accordion because you're interested in different exploring different sounds, I'm okay with spending up to $150 on an instrument, especially when it's in a good condition, let's call it. A, a good ant antique condition. Um, if, and again, if you're looking for a second accordion, there were a few listings on Facebook Marketplace of smaller accordions. If you have your home instrument, but you want a second little instrument to travel with, to take in, a, in your car when you're camping, to keep upstairs in the bedroom, I, I don't know what you want to do with it, but having a second instrument is really, really nice. So would I recommend that you purchase an instrument for $75? If you can afford it, 100%. I'm happy that I have this instrument. I'll find a use for it. Speaking of that, if you're in the Vancouver Island area, if you're in Victoria, if you're near Vancouver Island, I'm happy to lend this instrument to you. If you want to come here, pick it up for a week, borrow it a few weeks, make sure that you want to learn accordion, I'm happy to lend you the instrument. I think instruments are meant to be lent out and explored. I'd rather you figure out whether you like accordion or really, oh, it's not, an, it's not for me, rather than spending hundreds of dollars on something and then realizing after the fact it wasn't for you. Good. I'm super happy with this instrument. I hope you're well. If you're looking to learn accordion, check out accordionlove.com. There's a free three-day trial. We have lots of songs and techniques about how to play this wonderful instrument. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs>